Good morning, viewers. Welcome to the session questions for this morning. Right, this is about to begin on the topic. Benefit of true fasting and prayers. Benefit of true fasting and prayers. Post my own result. Okay, text again. We'll look up the terms between it from verse 1 down to 3. But let's pray before we begin. Father, we we'll thank you for the breaking our nostrils. We'll come to hear your word this morning. Speak to us our grounds of understanding. He said, in Isaiah 9, 8, he sent the word unto Jacob, and he lighted unto a nation called Israel. Send the word into our heart today, and grant us understanding. For in Jesus' name we pray. I mean, topic, benefit of true fasting and prayers. Post to the K, text taken from Israel, between 8, 1, and 3. I read from verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day. And the Lord that God will set you on high above all nations of the earth. To remember one of his commandments, that we should wait on him, according to Isaiah 58. Down to verse 2, Deuteronomy 28, verse 2 now said, And all this blessing shall come on thee and overtake thee, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. <coughs> verse 3, The blessed shall thou be in the city of the shall thou be in the field. Verse 9 said, The Lord, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, please. But now he said, The Lord shall establish their holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandment of the Lord thy God and walk in his ways. And the Lord bless his word, and to understand it in Jesus' name for that in Deuteronomy chapter 26, from 1 to 19. Seven shall come to pass, and it shall be when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for inheritance, and possess it, and dwellest therein, said in verse 3 that thou shalt take of the fruit of the first food let me take verse 2 again that thou shalt take of the first of all the fruit of the earth which thou shalt bring of thy land that the lord thy god giveth thee i shall put it in a basket and shall go into the place of the lord where the lord shall choose to place his name there in verse 7 i want thou cried unto the lord out of the god of your father our voice and look on our affliction and our labor and our oppression. And as he said, and the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand, and with an stretch out, and with great terribleness and signs and wonders. I pray that the word upon the Lord in this season and truth and spirit, the Lord will bring you out of every captivity you are in in Jesus' name. As I said, and he shall brought us into this place and have given us this land, even a land that flows with milk and honey. But we can look down from the holy habitation from heaven and bless thy people Israel and the land which thou hast given us, as thou swearest unto our fathers, the land that swear with milk and honey, that will be our portion in Jesus' name. I complete that scripture down to verse 19, verse 17 says, Thou hast abolished the law this day to be thy God, and to walk and to walk in his ways, and to keep his status and his commandment as he and his judgment. And to hearken unto his word. I'll play that down to verse 19. Psalm chapter 1, 1, 3 from verse 4 down to 9. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like unto thee, our God, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth? Said in verse 7, He rises up, he rises up the poor out of the dust. And lifted the needy out of the downhill. The Lord will lift you up. As you wait upon him in truth and spirit, he will lift you up. The same way he lifted the children of Israel up from captivity. The Lord will lift you up in Jesus' name. Verse 8 says that it may set him with princes, even with the prince of his people. Said verse 9, he make it a barren woman to keep house and to be enjoyed from one of children. Praise you, the Lord. Last for that reading, 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. Down to ten said, He that committed sins of the devil for the, for the devil sins from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he would destroy the works of the devil. I think that the gate for ever since he passed For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. I see every works of the devil being destroyed of your life in Jesus' name. Verse 9 said, Whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him. And he cannot sin because he's born of God. May the Lord bless his word. Please complete that scripture down to verse 10. Call time, please, part of the topic one more time. Benefit of true fasting and prayers. We take a reading from the Jeremy chapter 28, from verse 1 to 3. We went further to see another further review. And Deuteronomy, 
Chapter 26, from verse 1 to 19, with Psalm 113, from verse 4 to 9, and first John 3, 8 down to 10. Please acknowledge your time with your scriptures again. You will be blessed in Jesus' name. Thinking cap. Am I playing word for this morning? There can't there can never be bliss and benefit without adequate sacrifices. There can't never there can't be bliss and benefit without adequate sacrifice. Take us again for the last time. There can't be bliss and benefit without adequate sacrifice. Think about it. Today we we'll look at the topic, benefit of true fasting and prayers, which are the teaching series for the week. So please stay connected with us on this platform. We'll be blessed in Jesus' name. By introduction, enjoying any benefit begins with understanding the cause subject matter. Fasting and prayer is highly beneficial to its host anytime, any day. For many of us don't know that kind of thought. We don't tap into the batch that it carries. Many people love the glory, but are never interested in the story and the sacrifice. Beloved, all who are interested in the sacrifice and the story, we can never see the glory. Beloved, let's also know that no shortcuts to lasting success in life, meaning no shortcuts to a flight. If you must go on a flight, it takes real power to fly and it takes real power to remain a cruise. And I pray as you develop spiritual stamina in this beginning of the year, as you develop power, I pray you will fly on the top of the top, the adventure of life on this morning, on this, uh, this year 2020 and beyond in the name of Jesus. On this note, we shall learn the benefit of true fasting and prayers. And I pray God will open our understanding to the subject and increase us to wait on you in truth and spirit in Jesus' name. In Genesis chapter 32, from verse 23 down to 29, the summary talking about Jacob. He sent his children, he sent his wife and all that he had to the other side, and he was left alone upon the mount, and he began to wait upon the Lord until God had him. God came down and said, Thou have power with man and with God, and have prevailed. He said, I will change your name. What he said, his name is Jacob. He said, your name shall not be called Jacob or Israel. And of course, what a nation is at least today. And he blessed him. I pray as well on the Lord in truth and spirit. The Lord will appear to you. The Lord will bless you in the manner that he blessed our father Jacob in Jesus' name. Joshua chapter 1, from 1 to 9. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, the word of the Lord came to Joshua. The son of the Moses minister saying, Moses, my servant, is not dead. Now therefore arise, go over the Jordan, thou and all these people must have done, which I shall give thee with the children of Israel, every place that so that we shall try to form. Said, I will give thee, as I was promised Moses. Said in verse 4, from the wilderness, even to the Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Ephraim, all the land will hit us, and not the great sea towards the going down. All I will give you. He said, No man will be able to stand before you as I was with Moses, so I be with you. What is your condition? Said in verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. How can we be strong? Through fasting and prayer. You can't be any stronger than the empowerment you receive. And empowerment comes only by waiting upon the Lord. Verse 6 said, Be strong and of good courage. Unto this people, thou shalt be wise when you heard of the land which I turned to your father to give them. The word father said in verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Thou shalt meditate, 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 separate, and meditate there in day and night. Thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written there. Then thou mayest make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. I pray this month, this year, you will have good success as you build up stamina for the year 2020. You will have good success to show in Jesus' name. Verse 9 said, Have not commanded thee. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. So if you want to retain God, fasting and prayer is one of the challenges to retain God. So that your confidence will not be thwarted with fear. In Daniel chapter 2, verse 16 down to 48, I will skip some verses. Then Daniel went in and desired the king that he should give them time. And I will tell the king what the interpretation is. Remember? King Nebuchadnezzar dreamt and he forgot the dream, so he needed to know what the dream is and what the interpretation of the dream. No man in the whole Babylon could interpret that. And of course, he now gave a commandment. All the wise men, all the chariots should be killed, they should be destroyed on their families. And of course, Daniel was going to be part of that. But he went to ask for time. And of course, in verse 17, then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to his brethren, and Ania, Michelle, and Azariah, his companions, and in verse 18, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven. 
concerning the secret. And of course, they began to go upon the Lord in verse 19. There was a secret revealed unto Daniel in the night's vision, said that he blessed the God of heaven. And when I stood before Pharaoh and before Nebuchadnezzar, rather, and told him what the dream was or what the interpretation of the dream, look at what happened in verse 46. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that he should offer an oblation and sweet others unto him. And the king, of course, promoted him and concord that it is only God that can reveal the secret. I pray as we wait for the Lord to truth and the Spirit. The Lord will reveal deep secret and deep truth to you. So I will take you to the top of the top in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4 from 1 to 20. And Jesus, who full of the Holy Ghost, returned from baptism that is from Jordan. I was led by the Spirit of the wilderness. And the devil came, kept him because he was fasting for 40 days there and 40 nights. He said, Turn this stone to bread. He said, I will not. The Lord said, that I shall live only by the word of the Lord and not by prayer. And he was starting now. When the devil had ended all the temptation, he delivered him for a season. And he was fourteen. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit of the God. And he went out of favor and threw out the region. When you defeat the devil with power, your fame will go out. I pray your company, your business name will go far abroad in the name of Jesus. Your ministry will go far abroad in Jesus. And was fifteen. And he taught to their synagogue being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth. And he gave him the book to read. And Jesus found a place where to read of him. Said the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, verse 18, because you have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. You have sent me to hear the book, go ahead to preach a deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind. Said that liberty them that are groups to preach a certain year of the Lord.